Good evening, everyone. My name is David Reiser, and I'm here with my co-founder, Ian McLeod, to tell you about our venture, Aldatu Biosciences. At Aldatu, we're driven by our first-hand experiences with HIV treatment programs in Africa. When this young woman, Tasla, came into the prenatal clinic, she was told she was infected with HIV, and that the probability of her passing HIV to her unborn baby was almost 50%. But with the correct medications, that could be brought down to almost nothing. However, what her physician didn't know at the time was that Tasla was resistant to the standard drugs that he'd prescribed, and they'd be ineffective in protecting her baby from getting HIV. It was only by virtue of being part of Harvard's research study with Tasla tested for resistance and switched to better, more effective drugs. Today, her son Felix is free of HIV because we were able to provide a test that isn't available to almost 80% of people living with HIV. And it made us think, there has to be a better way to do this. There has to be a way to make diagnostics available for everyone. We've made tremendous progress in the fight against HIV over the last 30 years. And of the 37 million people living with HIV today, more than half are expected to have access to life-saving antiretroviral drugs by the end of next year. But the unfortunate truth is that HIV is fighting back. And as a consequence of the global scale up to access to these antiretroviral drugs, there's a corresponding increase in resistance to those drugs that can render one or more of those drugs in their regimen ineffective. Now, in order to properly match HIV-infected patients with drugs that will work for them, HIV drug resistance genotyping is an integral and necessary part of HIV treatment programs. But as Ian mentioned, more than 80% of the people living with HIV today don't have access to this type of testing because it's simply too expensive for the resource-constrained uh, healthcare settings where HIV presents the greatest public health burden. At Aldatu, we're trying to stay one step ahead of HIV by offering a test that is affordable for resource-limited settings. We're doing this by commercializing our proprietary platform technology, Panda, which allows us to assay clinically actionable HIV drug resistance mutations in an affordable and sensitive way that increases access to, to optimal HIV patient care all around the world. Now, in addition to addressing this problem, this primary barrier of affordability, our product also addresses pain points uh, that several other products on the market, that any other product on the market does not, including speed and sensitivity. And I don't have time to tell you about our full go-to-market strategy right now and how we plan to launch this product in sub-Saharan Africa, where the need is the greatest, and develop follow-on products to address distinct genotyping needs in additional patient populations around the world, but I'd love to talk to you about that afterwards. Um, at Aldatu, we're really focused on what the Institute for Healthcare Improvement calls the triple aim, and that's that any product that is meant to improve healthcare should reduce costs, improve outcomes, and increase access to the best care. And that's really what we're trying to do at Aldatu with our drug resistance test. Now, the iLab has been integral to Aldatu from the start. In the fall of 2012, I was just a researcher with an invention, and I had no idea what to do with it. So I came along to a commercialization of life sciences workshop at the iLab, and I was waiting for the bus on the way back after the workshop that I met David, who'd also attended. And so Ian had an idea that he was thinking about commercializing. I was interested in commercializing science, but didn't have any ideas. And so uh, at the bus stop, Ian sketched out his idea on the back of a piece of paper, as cliche as that sounds. And about a year later, we found ourselves back here at the iLab as part of the venture incubation program. Um, then over the next six months or so, we really were able to develop our plans and bring it to a point where we were fortunate enough to take home the grand prize at the uh, Innovation Labs Dean's Health, Life, Health and Life Sciences Challenge, which has really catapulted us forward, um, allowed us to get some publicity, really gain some momentum, move into additional accelerator programs in the area, and that brings us to where we are today. Um, and in the time afterwards for questions and also after this session, happy to answer questions about what our plan is moving forward to bring our product to patients. Thank you.